great uh, having you on and having an opportunity for our Health Power audience to get to know you and learn about what you were doing. Um, with uh, uh, Nurse Bob, I think that uh, with so many changes having taken place around uh, screening guidelines for women and what women should have tested for and when they should have the testing done, I think it's very good that we have an opportunity to talk now. Um, and I guess for starters, are you recommending that women have an annual uh, GYN visit every year? Absolutely. Dr. Goodwin, you know how important it is for women to be seen every year because health is head to toe and everything in between. And when women go in every year, they can start a dialogue or continue a dialogue with their health care provider about all aspects of their health, including cervical cancer screening, which is so important because regular screening leads to early detection, and that helps save lives. Right. Okay. It, it, does it matter? Um, this is a difficult question, perhaps. But does it matter whether a woman sees a primary care physician or a GYN specialist? Well, nowadays, it seems like there's not enough health care providers to go around. So if you found an internist, primary care provider, nurse practitioner, PA, or midwife who can do your comprehensive care, including cervical cancer screening with pap tests, and PAP plus HPV for women over 30, I think you're in good hands. Okay, so we would say women over 30 is sort of a guideline, right? Well, the guidelines say that women should start their pap smears at age 21 and then have a PAP only for uh, every three years. And a lot of my patients are surprised to learn they don't need a pap smear every single year. Let's, and let's, let's slow down a little bit. You say start the pap smear at 21? Start pap smears at age 21 now. Okay. And, and from 21 until what's, what's the next step? From 21 till 29, it's pap smears only every three years. Okay. And then for women over 30, what's recommended is the pap test plus HPV test together because research has shown that when we use the PAP test and the HPV test, we can find more cervical cancer and pre-cancer than we could with either test alone. Okay, now tell me this. Uh, I need you to, I know what HPV is, and you know what HPV is, but there are many people in the general audience who might not know, so would you just spend a minute uh, explaining what HPV is. Oh, thanks, Dr. Goodwin, for reminding me, because HPV is human papillomavirus, and the vast majority of women will be exposed to human papillomavirus, or HPV, sometime during their life. And the good news is that most women will clear the virus without any treatment if they give their own immune system about two or three years. So most HPV does not progress to cancer. But we do know that some cases of HPV do progress to cervical cancer, and that's why we recommend pap testing plus the HPV test together for women over 30. Okay, that's useful to know. And, and I, I think you've sort of answered it, but why is this screening for... Um, Pap, let's, let's say pap smear and HPV screening uh, so important. Well, let me go back. When you say from age 21 to 29, the pap only, it was my understanding that uh, there's an increased likelihood or risk of HPV from women who have been, from fairly young women who have been involved in multiple sexual partners and so forth. Is that true or not true? Well, you know, what we know, Dr. Goodwin, is regardless of what a woman chooses to do, most women are going to be exposed to the HPV virus. 
And so the guidelines really cover all women. And so regardless of circumstances, um, women can start having their pap smears at age 21. And we know that cervical cancer takes years or even decades to develop. And remember, most HPV is going to regress and go away on its own. And it's the very few cases that do progress. But one thing that's really important for your audience is for women who have been diagnosed already with a precancerous lesion, don't wait. Keep going back to your healthcare provider. You need to have frequent follow-up if you've been diagnosed with a precancerous condition. Also, when you go to see your healthcare provider, ask for the pap test plus HPV test because that helps us better identify the women who may have a precancerous lesion that needs to be followed up more frequently. And that's, that's why I guess I'm asking two things. In that uh, age range from 21 to 29, it's, it's a little curious that uh, the HPV plus pap smear is not recommended. Is there a reason for that? There is, and that's because the vast majority of women from 21 to 29 will test positive for HPV if you test them from 21 to 29. It's the women over 30 who may have a persistent infection that may lead to a more serious condition, and that's why we have the pap test plus HPV recommended after 30 because cervical cancer doesn't occur overnight. It takes years or decades to develop. So, it's a, so we could say there's an increased risk of cervical cancer after 30, from 30 and above. Well, a lot of the data will show that the highest rates of cervical cancer occur in the 30s and 40s for women. Okay, in the 30s and 40s. Yeah, and that's why it's really important for women to get regular screening. So when women get regular screening, it helps us identify the women most at risk, the women who need to have more frequent follow-up, and those women who have a risk factor who may have a precancerous lesion, they may need a pap smear every year. They may need more frequent follow-up. So the idea is to find those women at most risk, and the way to do that is with these screening guidelines. All right. And uh, is there something a woman should uh, raise or ask, about, ask her provider about to be sure that she's getting the test that she needs? Well, I think women should, first of all, start by doing a little research. And one great place to go is PAP plus hpv.com and that's all spelled out so it's pap p l u s h p v dot com for more information then make a list of questions for your provider and ask them if the pap test plus hpv test is appropriate for them okay let's, let's, let me just repeat that be sure the audience gets it it's pap p a p plus p l u s h p v dot com that's right all right, that's very good. And that, if one gets to that website, you get additional information? Yes, women can go for more information on cervical health, cervical cancer screening, and the pap test plus the HPV test. Okay, that's very good to hear. Is there anything else you think we should have covered? Well, I just want to reinforce, if you haven't been to see your health care provider this year, do call and make an appointment because it could very well save your life. I forgot to mention also that January is uh, Cervical Cancer Awareness Month, so this is certainly a very important time and a good time for women to give special attention to uh, having that screening done. It sure is, Dr. Goodwin. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thanks so much for talking with me today. Yes, it was good talking with you. Thank you. Take care. You too. Okay, bye-bye.